Hi, my name is Bear Cahill, and this is another five minute tip video from Accelerate. Today, we're going to be talking about API design, specifically RESTful JSON API design using the Open API spec. This one's defined in YAML. You can also do it in JSON. And I'm using the tool editor.swagger.io. This is a great little Open API spec editor that's free. It's on the browser. You don't have to install anything. It's great. So I made a real quick, simple API here with a couple of paths and points. This one's user, and it has a post operation for creating a new user. It takes as the request body a JSON object that has two properties, username and email, and they're both strings. If we look at that in the documentation that's generated, we see the example request body along with the example values. And for the response, when it's a 200 at least, it uh, has created a user and it also passes back a JSON object that has username and email as well as the ID which is also a string and we can see that in the response documentation so that's perfectly fine nothing wrong with that but it feels a bit redundant so you may have heard of the components section that allows you to define in one place reusable objects like these schemas these two schemas can be defined there referenced here and then we can reuse them in many places and through the magic of television that's what I've already done I have a post body for when you're sending up username and email to create a new user and a get body that includes the ID for when you're passed one back so I can just reference those here and delete all of this additional schema text through the magic of television I'm going to add a reference here to the components schemas post body and I can delete the rest of those properties I can do the same thing in the response by referencing the get body and now I have a more concise cleaner post operation down here in the schemas section whenever I need to make a change I can just make it in one place well technically two because I if I change the username for example or added a property to user I'd have to change it in both places it sure would be nice if this get body could inherit from the post body and just add whatever's different yeah you guessed it that's what we're gonna do so for the get body we're going to change it to have this all of and then that's an array of all of the things that should be included in this schema so the first thing is the post body and the second thing is the additional property of the ID bam now whenever I need to change one of these properties or add something I just can change one place I also have another endpoint for doing a get with an ID of a single user that would fetch a user and pass back the same data. So I could do the same reference here to the get body, but I want to leave it like this for now to show you something. So I'm going to use this generate client menu up here and I'm going to select Swift because that's typically what I do developing uh, an iOS app. Now I'm going to unzip that code, drill down into the model. And there I have three files, the get body, which has those username, email, and ID, compared to the post body, which just has the username and email. And then I have this other wonderfully named struct of inline response 200, and that's this one. So you can easily see how reusing the code and giving them the schema names is gonna be more helpful to somebody who's going to digest this open API spec. So I highly recommend you reusing as much as possible. Keep your open API really concise and easy to update as well as easy to consume with classes and operation IDs that are clearly named for any code generation. So I hope that helps. Hope you learned something and stick around for more five minute tips.